Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to use the battery medic that comes with uh, my lithium polymer packs. So this is a 24 volt, 15 amp hour battery that I'll demonstrate with. You have your main discharge leads uh, and this other additional plug, and this is one we're interested in. This is a seven pin plug, it's called a JST XH connector on there. Uh, this is just one sub pack out of the battery. If it's a 48 volt battery, it'll have two of these wiring harnesses coming off. If it's a 72 volt, it'll have three. Uh, and basically I'll show you for this one, but it's the same process that you do for each uh, plug that you have for the, these ones. So we take our battery medic. For the 24, 48 or 72 volt batteries, the seven pin plug can only fit in one spot, which is this bottom uh, socket here. If it's a 36 or 60 volt battery, it goes into the six pin one just above, but it can only go into one socket. So we plug that in there. So you can see individual cell levels here, each voltage for each cell, uh, and the total voltage of the pack at the bottom. So this 24 volt pack is, uh, is pretty flat, it's reading only 23 volts at the moment, uh, but even so you can see that the cells are all still fairly well balanced. Uh, 3.83, 3.86, 3.84, 3.84, 3.85, 3.84. Uh, so even flat, that's pretty good. Uh, ideally you normally check the balance when the battery is full. So you give your battery a full charge, plug in your meter, uh, check your cell voltages, if there's a difference of more than 0.05 volts, typically I'll balance it. Um, if, it's, if it's more than that again, then, then definitely uh, you can balance it. So on a full charge, what you typically see is probably around uh, 4.15 volts for all the cells. So it might be 4.15, 4.14, 4.13, 4.16, uh, something like that, and that's fine. If you find that one is 4.2 and the other is 4.1, uh, I would probably balance the pack. Uh, and in doing that, what it will do is, is bleed down the higher cells to the level of the lowest uh, cell in the pack. So if, uh, in, in the case of this one right here, the lowest uh, cell voltage is 3.83 volts. So if I hit balance now, what that will do is discharge down all the other cells until they're 3.83 volts as well. And you can see the uh, little display, the little light bulb on the screen, which basically means that's bleeding the, uh, the voltage out of those cells. So that's what uh, that's how you balance, very straightforward. Uh, so you just do that then again, assuming this was a new battery pack now, we do the same again, we plug it in, we have a quick look at all our cell voltages. Yep, they're all much the same, good. And that's all you have to do. Uh, so when, this, when the pack is brand new, uh, you want to balance or check the balance of the pack every time you charge it. So give your battery a full charge, plug this into each one, nine times out of 10, or in fact, 95 times out of 100, your pack won't need any balancing. With the parallel charging method that uh, I set these batteries up for, they stay very, very well balanced. Uh, but every now and again, you will get a cell that uh, is a little bit higher, a little bit low, and you'll need to balance your pack to uh, bring them all back into line. Uh, as I said, it's best to balance uh, every time you charge for the first half a dozen charges on a, on a new battery and then after that you can check it every few times you ride if you like. Uh, it's, it's ideal if you've got the time to do a quick uh, 30 second check every time you charge just in case something does get out of whack uh, but uh, probably once a week is fine uh, if the battery is behaving well. If every time you use the pack you find you have to balance it then certainly you want to keep an eye on it but if you ride the bike 20 times and 20 times the balance is fine chances are the next 20 times it's going to be fine as well so once a week is probably fine. Once you've balanced your pack uh, and they're all reading the same voltage, plug it back into the charge again and, and let it charge up for another half an hour or so depending on what sort of charger you've got. Uh, and then that will top the pack back up to full and hopefully all your cells have stayed balanced. If they haven't, you can hit balance again and hopefully bring them all back into line and then give it another top up. On a new battery, sometimes it takes a few cycles for them to settle down but uh, for the vast majority of your, your charging, you shouldn't have to do this. It's just a, just a precaution. Uh, and by checking the balance, you make sure you get the maximum uh, life cycle out of your battery. The settings on the battery medic, uh, there's basically two modes. There's a discharge mode and a balance mode. And the difference between the two is that in balance mode, the, uh, the device will basically discharge down all the cells to the level of the lowest cell in the pack. What the discharge mode does is discharge every cell in the pack down to a set level. So if you set the discharge limit to 4 volts, uh, it'll pull every cell in that pack down to 4 volts. If you set it to 3.7 volts, it'll pull every cell down to 3.7. Uh, 
Uh, so just going into those settings, if you push the button here on the uh, on the far left, it says mode. Uh, it comes up here, balance voltage limit, uh, and at the moment it's set to four volts. Uh, and just you can use your up and down arrows here to set it to 3.9, 4.1, 4.2. Uh, you wouldn't go, uh, you wouldn't set the balance voltage as high as 4.2 because uh, that's the maximum that you want any cell to be. So if you're balancing, all cells are going to be pretty much less than that. Uh, so usually around 4.1 volts is a good um, a good balance voltage limit to set, uh, unless you've got a weak cell uh, and you're trying to pull all the other cells down to give it a, the whole pack top up, uh, in which case you might set it down to say 4 volts.